For over a century, the United States has set aside the first Monday in September to honor the contributions of working men and women. And our labor officers around the world continue to honor that tradition by promoting sustainable economic growth and ensuring American workers and American businesses compete on a level playing field with countries that respect the rights of workers. The United States has long sought to improve the rights and conditions of working people. Our participation in the founding of the International Labor Organization in 1919 reinforced our government's belief that universal and lasting peace can only be established if it is based on social justice. After the devastation of two world wars and a Great Depression, President Franklin Roosevelt launched the Labor Attaché program within the State Department to lead our efforts at securing the rights of working people. Today, the State Department is proud of 40 dedicated officers based at our embassies and missions around the world. These officers play a crucial role by furthering our foreign policy objectives in a number of areas. They incorporate an understanding of the lives of people who get up each and every day, labor in factories and farms, construct buildings, teach our children, bring the voice of working people into the policies and programs of the U.S. government. Promotion of these core worker rights, including freedom of association, the right to organize and bargain collectively, freedom from discrimination, and the elimination of forced labor and the worst forms of child labor are key components of our labor diplomacy. And now with the emergence of a truly global economy, international labor issues continue to take on an even greater importance. Our trained and dedicated labor officers and staff who understand the dynamics and challenges of the global workforce ensure that worker rights are protected in our trade agreements with companies on socially responsible supply chains and on examining emerging issues such as protecting the rights of those in the informal economy, often migrants and women. A special representative for international labor affairs, I have the responsibility and the privilege of leading our engagement with international organizations and foreign governments on issues affecting working people. From engaging on labor issues with key trade partners such as Colombia, to raising concerns about working conditions in our human rights dialogue with China, to working with trade unions, businesses, and the ILO after the recent tragic events in the garment factories of Bangladesh, our labor officers don't just follow the news. They make a real change in the everyday lives of working people. So today, as we celebrate the sacrifices and successes of workers everywhere, we also recommit to continue to do everything we can to advance labor rights throughout the world.